a cute German Shepherd service animal and a yellow lab service dog in training named Roxy stand near home plate on a cartoon baseball field. They talk back and forth and camera angles change from wide, medium, and tight shots of the characters. Hi kids, we're going to talk about baseball. I love baseball. Me too. I like watching major league baseball teams play on TV, and sometimes I go to a family member's little league game. I get to do the same thing. What we want to show you today is that it doesn't matter who you are or what disability you might have. Everyone can play baseball. Really? Any disability? Yes. I'm going to take you to two different baseball games or practices. One is a fully accessible baseball field, so it's easy for people who use wheelchairs or canes to get onto the field. But first, I want you to meet the New Jersey Titans. They play in a beep baseball league. All of the guys are blind or don't have a lot of vision who are on the team. That's so cool. I want to meet them. Let me show you some of the action first. Series of quick shots of pitcher tossing ball and Damian Gonzalez hitting it and then diving to field a ball. Set. Ready. Pitch. This is the New Jersey Titans beep baseball team. Alfonso Harrell hits a line drive just over the pitcher, followed by Zach Turner drilling a line drive into left field. Interview order is Alfonso, Damian, and Zach. They're a force to be reckoned with. With guys like Alfonso Harrell, Damian Gonzalez, and Zach Turner. These guys are like family, you feel what I'm saying? Um, you have to trust the guys that you want to feel with. My favorite part has to be winning as a team. I've been playing beat baseball for four years. This will be my fifth year. Um, I love the sport. I found out about it when I went visually impaired in 2016. Coach Nestor Gonzalez throws a baseball into right field during practice. Set, ready, ball. Nestor Gonzalez is the coach and manager of the Titans. Some of our players are totally blind. Some of our players are partially blind. Everyone wears a blindfold, or what can be called a goal fix, which is designed for sports to make sure that no one has an advantage when playing. On the offensive side of the ball, the pitcher and the catcher are on the same team as the batter, and the pitcher's job is to find um, a good cadence with the batter. We say set, ready, pitch, batter swings, uh, and hits the ball out into the field. It's all about timing. It's all about rhythm. It's all about you and that pitcher having that connection because the cadence is a set, ready pitch. Being that we can't see, that's all we have to go off of. So my job is to keep my swing as consistent as possible. And my pitcher's job is to get that ball where my bat is all the time. Both the pitcher and the catcher are people who have eyesight. The, the biggest difference, I think, is the pitcher's on your team. He's trying to find the bat, where growing up, my dad was my pitcher, and he was always trying to strike me out, right? So uh, now he's my teammate, which is really cool. Nestor hits a practice ball into left field, and Lamont, Bordley, and Zach Turner field it. This is a Titans practice. In B baseball, there are two bases, first and third. When the pitcher throws the beeping ball, one of the bases also makes a buzzing sound. So when the batter hits the ball, they have to quickly figure out which base is buzzing and run to it before the ball is fielded by the defense. A defensive standpoint, you have six players on the field. You have two-sided spotters that are on their team. If the batter hits the ball out and they pick up the ball before he reaches the base, which is 100 feet from the plate, if they pick it up before he reaches it, it's an out. If he gets to the base, before they pick the ball up and secure it, it's a run. Each player has a position or zone in the field. There are two spotters who have eyesight in the field that can call out what zone the ball is hit to. At that point, it's up to the players to communicate amongst themselves to track down the ball. Lamont and Zach field a ball. You know, every game is competitive. Every game, the other team, you know, they're coming out to beat you and we're coming out to beat them. And it's what I love about it. The New Jersey Titans play in tournaments all around the country, including the Beep Baseball World Series. Spike and Alfonso Harrell stand on the grass at a park in Newark, New Jersey. Camera angles change between wide and tight shots of them. We just finished a Beep Baseball practice and I want you to meet two of my friends who are great players. Hey Spike, how you doing? Hey Alfonso. I'm good. How about you? I'm good. 
You guys were looking great at practice today. It seems like you work really well together as a team. But man, teamwork is everything. That's how you win. Um, because I have to trust the guys in front of me. I have to trust the guys that are behind me. And that comes from teamwork. So if that ball is hit and, and, some, and, so, and my teammate tells me it's where it's coming from and I get that ball, it's, it's, it's a good feeling, Spike, because, you know, we all win when we can pick the ball up on defense. So how long have you been playing? Uh, Spike, I've been playing for about nine, ten years now. Again, with the guys that, that are really co good friends of mine. That's so cool. I want you to meet one more friend of mine who plays for the Titans, Damian. He's a 14-year-old and is the youngest player on the team. Hey, Spike. Hey, Damian. Kids, let me tell you, I was fielding some balls earlier, and Damian is a great hitter. Tell the kids how you got involved in beep baseball. My dad showed me the sport. I was sitting in a restaurant one night, and he said if I wanted to try it out, I could, and I tried it out. Why do you like it so much? Because it's a fun game to play. You get to travel around and see new places, and you get to meet a bunch of great people. What would you suggest for people who are blind or visually impaired who might be interested in beep baseball? I would tell them to go try it out, and if they, if they like it, and I'm sure they will, because it's a pretty hard sport not to fall in love with, then they'll find an, a great thing to do to stay active, to have fun and meet new people, just like I did. Thanks, Damien. Kids, it's so important to be a team player, whether you're playing a sport or if you're in school. Now we're going to go to the Field of Dreams in South Jersey. Spike is in a red airplane flying through the clouds. The plane is pulling a banner with the words Absecan, New Jersey on it. Spike's plane, you are cleared to land. Spike interviews two people at the Field of Dreams. Hi kids, I'm at the South Jersey Field of Dreams with the new friends that I have. Mason, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm 19, I, I have Jashen's Western Dystrophy and I, I play at the Field of Dreams. Mason. How would you describe muscular dystrophy? I would just say like your, your muscles are weaker, you're not as strong, but on the inside you're still, you're still strong. Is it easy for you to get a wheelchair onto this field? It's very easy to get on the field and move around. You can go on the playground. There's all different, all types of accessible things that, that are here. Thanks, Mason. Kids, like Mason just said, there's a playground here and even a miniature golf course that kids who use wheelchairs can go on. Right now, I want you to meet one more friend of mine. His name is Jacob. Hi, Spike. Jacob was born at 27 weeks and has cerebral palsy. Jacob's grandfather worked with some other people to help build the field of dreams so people with disabilities can play baseball. Jacob, how does this field help people with disabilities to play baseball? Well, the field is a turf field. It's accessible to wheelchairs, walkers, canes, crutches, and it's even, even accessible if you don't need that. Whatever, whatever they need, whatever our players need, we're here to help them. The turf Jacob just mentioned on the infield or where the bases are, it isn't real grass, so wheelchairs won't get stuck in it. Now I want to show you some of the excitement that happens here. Wide shot of baseball field from catcher's point of view as a girl hits a ball towards second base. You got it! Oh. Oh. A series of people hitting the ball and running or rolling their wheelchairs to first base. Wow, the Field of Dreams in Absecan, New Jersey is a fun place to be. Abigail Tejada and Mason Dell think so. They play baseball here. It's fun. It's just really fun. The coaches are also really nice here. Like, they talk to you a lot. Like, we have questions, you can just ask them. It's fun to, like, get out of the house, play this once a week. It's, it's very fun. Like, there's a great bunch of people here, and it's just a great place to be. The Field of Dreams is a baseball field that is fully accessible for people with disabilities, including kids who use wheelchairs, walkers, and canes. Even swing, keep your feet. Andrew Carmen Allegret has cerebral palsy. He uses a walker when he plays. I roll smoothly, smoothly, and it's not hard to get on the field. 
It's very easy. 300 children and adults play here, and there are about 1,000 volunteers who help out each year. Some players can batter field by themselves, and some need the help of someone else. It doesn't matter. Everyone gets to play. And parents and guardians have a great time, too. Annette Allegret is Andrew's mom. There's a ton of volunteers that help, so you don't ha you're hands off now. Someone else takes over, and you get to have a little break for an hour while and watch the game and enjoy it. Spike and Roxy are back at the cartoon baseball field. Wow, Spike, thanks for letting me meet your friends. I didn't realize that people who use wheelchairs or who are blind play baseball. I bet a lot of people didn't realize that, Roxy. Kids, I'm so glad that you got to meet some of my friends. Remember, anyone, whether they have a disability or not, can play baseball.